Today, we're talking about the Tamron 70 to 180, and we're going to talk about why I believe this is the best purchase of a telephoto Zoom that you can get in 2023. Let's get it. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael Perryman, photographer, videographer out of Atlanta. And today we're talking about the Tamron 70 to 180 2.8 zoom telephoto lens. A little disclaimer. I have never, ever, ever been a telephoto type of shooter. I have very little need for telephoto until I started to get a new hobby. That new hobby was sports. Um, when shooting sports became my new hobby, what I had to do was... I had to really question myself, did I have the right lenses to get into this new hobby? Historically, I would shoot music videos and I would shoot photo shoots for hip hop artists, musicians, uh, creatives, things like that. But I've never really had the need for um, a telephoto zoom. I've had a 70 to 200 before and I used it for weddings and things like that. But I found that it just collected dust. It just sat on my shelf, sat in my camera bag and I never really used it. But when I got into sports, things all change. I knew that I needed something that could one, give me the reach, but two, still give me the low light ability. Uh, you're shooting in gyms, you're shooting at night when it comes to Friday night lights. You know you need the low light ability. I also needed something that was fairly light. I didn't want something that was huge and heavy because I'm not getting paid to shoot sports as of now. I'm shooting it as a hobby. So I knew I wanted to move around. I knew I'd be shooting in places that were not ideal because you won't always have access to the field and things like that. 70 to 180 is great, especially with the a7 IV that I shoot with, because you can put that thing in the um, APS-C mode. You can get even extra reach with that 70 to 180. I don't know what it is. I haven't done the math. It'll be up here on the screen, but that's pretty much like having two zoom lenses in one. It's amazing. I needed something that I could do both portraits and sports, aka killing two birds with one stone, and it's ended up being the best lens for me. So let's start with the build quality. When it comes to the build quality, it's a pretty straightforward lens. Um, when it zooms, obviously it does elongate, it does get a little bit longer, but for the most part, it is very lightweight, easy to carry, beautiful lens. When it comes to design, very straightforward. Your traditional uh, looking Tamron lens, the 28 to 75 looks just like this. Um, and also the 17 to 28 looks just like this as well. So this would be a great third edition if you had those two uh, wide angle, mid-level, and now adding a telephoto zoom. That will give you the holy trinity, and that's Tamron's holy trinity, and I respect Tamron's game for that. Um, outside of the build quality, it is light, but I feel like it's light because it is plastic. It's not the metal build that you'll get in some of the Sigma, Sony, the so some of the Sony GMs. It's a plastic feel, um, but it still feels really good. It still feels really quality. It doesn't feel cheap even though it is light and it is, um, like I said, really plasticky. There's only one physical button on the device and that is your lock button. That's gonna stop you from getting your creep when you hold your lens upside down and it starts creeping, messing up your focal length. When you're walking around carrying your lens and it creeps, on top of the fact it can stop you from getting dust inside of your sensor because the more you zoom in and out, especially in dusty locations, you can get dust on your sensor. So very straightforward design. Your zoom rocker is up at the top and your focus pull is down towards the bottom. But when it comes to the design, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Very nice, the only reason I'm not gonna give it a five, the lack of buttons, I like a focus hold button on the side. I also am spoiled by Sony GM, my favorite lens is the 24 millimeter, which I'm shooting with right now. And it does have the aperture um, ring on the lens, and I've come to find out that I really love that aperture ring. Next thing we're gonna talk about it's the image quality. When it comes to the image quality, this thing is top, top, top of the line, top notch. I went out, I shot multiple sporting events, uh, mostly football games because it was football season when I first went out. I also shot a few good portraits of my beautiful daughter, Malia, and the image quality is just spectacular. When it comes to the image quality, it's got a distinctive, a distinctive Tamron look, which one, it is distinctive, but two, that distinction can give you a certain look and it allows me to have an interesting aesthetic when it comes to things like Instagram and stuff like that because every picture that I shoot with this distinctively has a certain color pattern that I really appreciate. So Tamron, damn good job on that one right there. So when it comes to image quality for a zoom lens, both in photo and video, I'm gonna give it a solid, solid five out of five. Right, so when it comes to the versatility, let's talk about that, the focal length. It's a 70 to 180. A little unique, because it's not a 70 to 200 like your traditional telephoto zooms are. So you are missing 20 on the long end, but 
Once again, I've never ever shot with this lens and thought, man, I'm really missing that 20. On top of the fact that I'm shooting, especially photography with a Sony a7 IV, 33 megapixels, that allows me to crop in and still keep a quality image, easily, easily making up for those 20 millimeters that I'm missing. So for the versatility, man, sensational. Um, the focal length of 70 to 180, when it comes to sports, I'm gonna be shooting basketball mostly, but a lot of football as well. That's more than enough to get inside of a good basketball gym and get every single image that you need. In football, sometimes you may want a little bit more, but when it comes to the Sony a7 IV, you have the ability to go in APS-C mode and you can crop in and you can still get that. And when you're shooting video and you have that ability to do that, you have two zoom lenses in one, that's undeniably, unmistakably, I don't think that's a word. It's good, it's really good. Now, outside of sports, one thing that it's opened up for me is it's even made me start shooting a little bit of wildlife. If I see birds outside and I live in a nice enough neighborhood with nice enough trees and things like that where you hear the birds chirping and you know if I go out there with this baby, I'm going to get a blue jay, I'm going to get a red bird, I'm going to get something that is just beautiful. And the funny thing about me and my wildlife photography is I never show anybody. I just go out, I practice with my camera and this allows me to add an extra level of practice. When you're a person like me and you've been shooting music videos, you've been shooting urban uh, portraiture and things like that, you have never really had the need to carry a long telephoto soon. And once you get one, you start challenging yourself. I wanna go out, I wanna use it. If I'm not on a paid gig, what can I do with this telephoto zoom to get some creative content? This 70 to 180 from Tamron is just hands down one of the best purchases you can make of the new year. So the price, right now, currently, this is selling at $11.99. I know you can go on Amazon and find it for a little bit cheaper if you want it used and or refurbished. Um, those things are still great. I, I love Amazon, I buy tons of things from them, so if you do find it, get it. So the price value is insane. I'm giving the price five out of five, I'm giving the image quality five out of five, and I'm giving the build quality four out of five. Um, last but not least, What's my final answer? I think that's been pretty easy to see throughout this video. It's a must-have lens. I've got no, nothing else to say. Tamron, 70 to 180. One of my favorite lenses, changed the game for me. You're gonna see a lot more content on the channel with it. My name is Michael Perryman. Please like, please subscribe, and let's get this thing.